Animation has been around on the internet since its beginnings, on sites such as Newgrounds, YTMND, Ebombs World, and DeviantArt, users would upload their own animations for others to see. When YouTube became popular in the mid-2000s, creators saw an opportunity to gain more fame on YouTube rather than the older sites as YouTube was gaining popularity at a fast rate. So creators switched to YouTube to upload their creations on. Several platforms arrived on the internet to create animation, some of them being more expensive while providing better quality, and platforms that were less expensive but provided animation quality that was less than the more expensive platforms. One of these platforms falls in the latter, a platform named GoAnimate. GoAnimate was created as a place for people to make animations originally based on the Domo mascot, but eventually devolved into a place where anything and everything can be made by anyone and in turn spawned a subculture around these non-business videos. This is how GoAnimate came to be, how it became a subculture and gathered a following, and how its creator became the most hated person in the subculture. On November 1st, 2007, GoAnimate was created by Alvin Hung as a way to create animations for his wife. The original website for GoAnimate was created in November of 2007. The site reads, quote, GoAnimate loves you. Create online animations quickly, easily, and free. Coming soon is an online application and community that allows users to create and share their own animations in just seconds. Want to know when you can start creating animations? Send us your email address so we can let you know, end quote. The first public version of GoAnimate was released in mid-2008. The video maker was simple. Take a character, choose an action, choose a background, add speech, then finish and upload the video to the site. The video player and maker utilized the Flash Player, which is what many old internet sites ran on to show videos or to include interactivity to their sites. The speech was made with regular text-to-speech integrated in the site. The text-to-speech software was not advanced, which led to some of the words coming out as wrong or incorrectly pronounced. The site was not too popular as many people did not know of its existence. In early 2011, GoAnimate became a partner of YouTube Create, which allowed for videos to be uploaded directly from the GoAnimate site to creators' YouTube channels. This partnership would make it easier for creators to upload videos, which would inadvertently spawn a subculture of videos on YouTube based around GoAnimate. On July 2nd, 2011, the first recorded GoAnimate Grounded video was uploaded on YouTube by user Adam Kleinschmidt 2003 The video was titled, Brian Gets in Trouble at School. The video begins with the main character, Brian, acting out in class and getting sent to the principal's office. After getting sent to the principal's office, he begins to talk back to the principal, which gets him, quote, expelled from this school forever, end quote. He gets sent home and his parents ground him and force him to apologize to the principal. The video ends after that. The video garnered 58,000 views and 700 likes. The video is currently the first Go Animate Grounded video on record. It is unknown if there are any videos that exist before this one. In 2013, a YouTuber named African Vulture uploaded the first Caillou Grounded video, which would become the most popular video type in the subculture of Go Animate videos on YouTube. African Vulture would also become one of the most popular YouTube users in the GoAnimate subculture. Many video types would emerge out of this subculture. These video types include the aforementioned grounded video, where a character would act out, get caught, then get grounded, sometimes for an absurd amount of time. Soul, please ground him and then help me. What? Uh, <laughs> Help me, can you, 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 can you,
I can't make a new 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 Rosie's birthday by giving her a punishment day. That is so freaking it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for 666 centuries. Another video type which is similar to the grounded video is the punishment day video. The punishment day video either starts with the character most of the time being Caillou being called in for punishment day by his father, Boris, or in rare instances, the character, also usually Caillou, does something bad and then gets punishment day after. The punishments are usually cruel and unusual, which adds to the absurdity of the videos. Caillou, it's time for the thing you know what. Punishment day. That's right. First, I'll cut your penis. Number 2. Poopy and barf in the mouth. Open your mouth now, Kalu. Next up is a punch in the face. Final punishment, death. Another video type is the dead meat slash behavior card day video. In this video, usually in a classroom, the teacher explains the different behavior cards and what they do then gives them out. The classmates then go up to the teacher one by one and tell them which card they got. To which the teacher restates what happens and tells him to go to the principal's office or in rare instances the headmaster's office. Then the last classmate, the one who is in dead meat, asks for another chance to which the teacher always replies with, quote, absolutely not, end quote. The character usually gets expelled from the school after that and in some cases the character gets grounded afterwards. This specific video type would usually be a platform for the Go Animator to tell the viewers their favorite characters by giving them the good cards and their least favorite characters the bad cards. All of these videos have characters getting in trouble. These range from characters, usually from kids shows, to other Go Animators, to logos. Yes, even logos get in trouble in the Go Animate universe. What brings you here? We got white cards. Nothing will happen to you. I got a red card. Several reoccurring characters emerged from these videos including Clyde, a college student who is usually mischievous, Warren Cook, a character who is best known for his fake VHS openings and getting in trouble for making those VHS openings, Caillou, usually referred to as Kalu due to the text-to-speech not recognizing Caillou, based on an actual children's show who gets in trouble and usually grounded by his family, Boris, Doris, and Rosie, and Dora also based off of a children's show, and like Caillou, also gets in trouble. Another subculture emerged from this subculture, the Go Animate Network. This fictional network revolves around users uploading full shows of usually Cartoon Network shows and calling them Go Animate Network full episodes, when in reality, they are just Cartoon Network shows. It is unknown how long Go Animate Network has existed, but according to a Go Animate Network sign-off history video, the network has existed since 1937. However, in another video, the network seems to have existed since 1833, which could not have even been possible, as film hadn't even been invented at the time. It seems that each user had their own time in which the network was created, and no one can agree on a single time when the network started. Most of these videos were known for being completely absurd, due to the nature of some of these videos. Some of the videos include alcohol, drug use, and even sex. This is where the Go Animate Cringe compilations emerged. These are videos where users take a compilation of bad Go Animate videos and put them into a compilation, then uploaded them on YouTube for the viewer to laugh at, sometimes adding their own commentary. These videos seem to have started back around 2015, when Go Animate videos were at their peak of popularity. These cringe compilation videos still continue to be posted to this day. Another video emerged, a video type where users talk about the Go Animate subculture and give their opinions on these videos. Some of these users include Digby the Goat, Just a Robot, Slayer Coon, and even Pyrocynical. However, Pyrocynical was only talking about one video in particular, while the other three were talking about the whole subculture in general and not just focusing on one video like Pyro did. 
Go Animate would also remove social media access for non-premium users on September 16th, 2014. This meant that users without a premium subscription would not be able to upload their videos directly to social media. The Go Plus subscription would also be removed on January 15th, 2015. On October 19th, 2015, it was announced that Go Animate would switch from Adobe Flash to HTML5, allowing mobile device compatibility. This meant that the non-business friendly themes would be retired, including Comedy World, which is the theme that most of the Go Animate videos were being made on. Go Animate for Schools would keep the themes until July 26th, 2016. Several Go Animators were upset with these changes, and many blamed the CEO Alvin Hung for these changes. A user named Robo Will M created a video on October 30th, 2015 about why he was leaving GoAnimate. He blames Alvin Hung and the admins for the changes that have affected GoAnimate. It was around this time that the Anti-Alvin Hung Club was created, which was a group that was against Alvin Hung and what he was doing to GoAnimate. They even made an unofficial t-shirt that you could buy, however they only sold two shirts out of their goal of 502. Alvin Hung was described by many of the Go Animators as being, quote, the devil slash Satan of the Go Animate universe, end quote. During the summer of 2015, many of the social functions, including favoriting, commenting, and messaging, were removed in a plan for Go Animate to become more business oriented. On November 25th, 2015, Go Animate replaced the free plan they had to a 14 day free trial. After the trial ended, users would be unable to create or edit videos until they bought a subscription to the site. While the Go Animate videos continued to be made, many were still skeptical about the future of Go Animate. Go Animate's name was changed to Beyond in May of 2018, and it was also at this time that Alvin Hung would step down as CEO of Go Animate, and a new person would take a spot, Gary Lipkowitz. Many Go Animators were relieved that Alvin Hung had stepped down as CEO and were excited about the future. However, that excitement would be cut short by an announcement from the company. On July 16th, 2019, a blog post was made on the Vion blog titled Legacy Video Maker Retirement. In the post, Greg Quinn explains why the Legacy Video Maker is being retired. He gives the reason for Adobe announcing the retirement of the Flash plugin in 2017. The Flash plugin would be retired on December 31st, 2020. The Legacy Video Maker was built on Flash, and since the plugin was being retired, the Maker would no longer function. The Legacy Video Maker would be retired on December 16th, 2019. All non-business friendly themes would be retired, including Comedy World. A subgenre emerged in the subculture. The videos depicted the end of the Go Animate world. These videos would be made by many different users and, and uploaded on YouTube, and some even made videos trying to keep the video maker alive. However, they could not do anything to prolong the life of the video maker, and on December 16th, 2019, as scheduled, the legacy video maker was shut down, effectively ending an era on the internet. Many of the Go Animate videos uploaded now in Comedy World are re-uploads of older videos made before the retirement of the legacy video maker. Some users have even attempted to revive the video maker using the code from the maker or using third party software. And some of these attempts have worked, but many have been futile. Many users have stopped making videos as a result of the shutdown, but some have switched to the new Vion video maker to make their videos on. Go Animate may be gone, however, the spirit of it lives on in Vion, as the site is still operational today and may still be for many more years. People ponder back and look at these old videos with a sense of nostalgia, while some creators still make videos and the subculture is still alive, however, in smaller numbers than they used to be, the videos are not as popular as they were in their peak. As videos are still created, it seems like the grounded videos will not go away for a while as creators see it as a lucrative way to gain popularity. As the final year of the Flash plugin begins, many wonder what will come next for any Flash games or websites that still exist on the internet today. Go Animate now stands as a reminder to people of what happens when a man creates a platform for cheap animation, that platform turns for the worst, and that man becomes the most hated 
person amongst that platform's users. Go Animate may be gone, but not forgotten by its users. And the Go animators that used the Legacy Video Maker and made videos in Go Animate's peak look back on the platform and recall fond memories of a time where some view as a dark time for the internet, they view as a golden age. Thank you.